quality carbon credit simply means that one tonne of carbon dioxide has been reduced or removed from the atmosphere. And this reduction or removal has been certified under an internationally recognised carbon standard. One of the most important steps in developing a project is assessing the baseline. In most projects, a baseline of emissions needs to be established. If we use the example of Red Plus, which is forest protection, this means assessing the deforestation rate in a reference region using satellite imagery and combining this with on-the-ground measurements. So no other form of finance can claim the level of transparency in measuring impacts as carbon credits. There are two important principles within carbon projects. The first one is additionality. This simply means that a project couldn't happen without the finance from carbon credits. The second one is permanence. This means that the emission reductions or removals achieved by the project are not going to be prone to reversal. When we think about climate change mitigation, it's not just numbers on a balance sheet. It's about a whole system transformation, which is why it's important that projects have additional co-benefits. This could be, for example, increasing food security, creating stable and skilled employment, or protecting wildlife. When it comes down to it, climate projects are a means to create long-term impact that could not otherwise happen.